Vagus nerve and hiatal hernia, why gut imbalance leaves you exhausted. Are you tired all the time? Your vagus nerve might be in low power mode. When the vagal tone diminishes, what happens is that inflammation runs wild. Gut bacteria get out of control and you can't absorb the nutrients that you need. So fatigue and brain fog can definitely be a result. Let's look at how this happens and what you can do about it. So first of all, we need to understand the vagus nerve and where is it. it. It travels to a lot of different places as it leaves your brain, but it goes to your heart and your lungs and your diaphragm and also basically your entire abdomen, all of your digestive organs. So that's where it travels, but it does even so much more than that. So now that we know where it goes, what happens with hiatal hernia or acid reflux when that stomach gets compressed and pushes up on your diaphragm, what occurs as a result is that because your vagus nerve uh, travels in the same um, pathway as your esophagus. So your esophagus is the tube that connects your mouth to your stomach. So it travels all the way down from your mouth and um, the vagus nerve parallels that course. So when the stomach pushes up, uh, up into the diaphragm, contracting, causing acid reflux. When it pushes even above the diaphragm, which is hiatal hernia, it, it can really irritate and compress the vagus nerve. So that's how it all starts. So that's that physical change that happened. It distorts mechanically the vagus nerve, it irritates it. So a lot of things happen with that irritation. One is that the vagus nerve is, is naturally anti-inflammatory. Its pathways are designed to cool inflammation and make sure it doesn't get out of control. But when it's irritated, it's just not able to do its job as it should. And what happens is quite fascinating is inflammation starts rising. This triggers your immune system to think, oh gosh, there, there must be a big infection happening. And it actually goes into what's called a sickness response. And the result for you is you're exhausted and you have brain fog, just like you would with a really bad flu. You don't have the really bad flu, but what's happening with your gut has stimulated the sick, sickness response in your immune system. Pretty interesting, right? But at the root, we have the acid reflux hiatal hernia response. Okay. Also, uh, when the vagus nerve is irritated, your acid levels go down and your motility or your motion through your digestive tract goes down. It, it gets sluggish. So what happens with that is you're not breaking down and absorbing your nutrients as you should. So of course, if you're not getting fuel from your food, you're not being your cells or not being nourished from your food, what's gonna happen? You're gonna be exhausted because you're not being nourished. Um, the vagus nerve also influences what's called your microbiome, and that is the 60 to 100 trillion organisms that make up your, uh, that are inside your large intestine. And the microbiome uh, is very important in a number of ways. It affects your immune system that we're talking about. It affects your ability to digest and absorb. It also connects to your brain. We're gonna be talking about that in another video very soon, uh, as far as your mood and whether you're anxious or not. But what happens particular, particularly for this video is that when that microbiome gets um, distorted due to vagus nerve malfunction, you get more bad bacteria than good bacteria. And not only do you get more inflammation, but again, lowered absorption of nutrients. So all of these factors are leading to fatigue and brain fog uh, because of root cause being an altered, irritated vagus nerve, and that's coming from the source of your acid reflux hiatal hernia. So what do we do about it? Majorly, we want to get to the root cause of the acid reflux and the hiatal hernia, because that is a mechanical change. We're actually creating a mechanical distortion on this vagus nerve because your stomach is compressed, because it's pushing up into your diaphragm and altering how the, the diaphragm is aligning. And so it's a very delicate balance. And when that's distorted, then the vagus nerve gets irritated and all these trickle down effects happen. From another perspective, you can help tone your vagus nerve with some breathing exercises. You can look up box breathing, how that's done, um, a little difference 
to box breathing, but also known to be uh, very helpful for the vagus as you take a deep breath in as much as you can. I'm going to demonstrate in a second, so much as you can, and then you top it off with a little extra inhale. So I'll show you what it looks like. So okay, that little extra. Okay, and I got a really, really full lung. And then the goal is purse your lips and you breathe out as slowly as you possibly can. Just letting that, but you might need to swallow in the middle of it. I normally do. And just very, 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 very slow as you can. And then it'll feel good. You'll really need a deep breath again to fill your lungs when you've done that, but that can help reset the vagus. That breathing alone is not going to do it if you keep having these gut problems. So they, they both need to be worked on together. Uh, I hope you found this informative. And if you're suffering with this, then uh, this information hopefully will, will assist. Uh, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, send me comments. I love your comments. I answer pretty much all of them. And we'll talk soon.